it by David Matthews. Hi, Dave. Okay. I gather that you're helping people work anywhere and at any time, but still stay secure. That's right, Kate. And what I'd like to show you today is our solution to that, AnyConnect Secure Mobility. So this is the new client that we have. Um, as you'll see, it's a very nice look and feel, and we have web security, network, and VPN all in the same client. And today I'd like to show you how we move between a clean network and what we call a dirty external network. So we have two wires connected, um, one the black wire being our internal corporate network and one being our external network, for example if you were connecting at Starbucks. So currently we're connected to the corporate network and I'll open up an email browser. So here we have um, Gmail and you're within an office environment. I'm going to create a new email. So here we have a scenario where we have a doctor who wants him to send some files to one of their patients. Um, so we address it and we attach the file. So normally we'd want to send a product overview, but by accident the doctor clicks Ops Review, which is an internal confidential document. So when we click Send, this will then go to the Ironport Web Security Appliance, which will actually check to see if that complies with company policy. And as you'll see, we've actually blocked the transaction because it's against company policy and the email and attachment can't be sent. So we then look at internet browsing and web browsing again within the safe environment of the office and we search for example um, for a standard word cake and as you'll see we're allowed to go through and look at these no problem at all. Um, if however I look for something um, that is against company policy like crack loader um, this is a, a download of something which can hack networks and I go into it to try and access it when I'm within the corporate environment. Um, what you'll see is that again it gets checked with the Ironport Web Security Appliance and I'm not allowed to go there. As you'll see from the text it says an illegal activity um, because that website will contain software that could potentially damage the network. So what we're now going to do is switch to the external network, so as though we're going out of the office into, for example, a Starbucks coffee house. So we change over. And what you'll see from the client here, we're going and we're authenticating to an external network. So as a user, I've just taken my laptop out of the network. And again, it's just acquiring the IP address as I'm firing up into the external network and I'm connected into the external network. Now there is a small authentication that I go through just to confirm that. And again, if we go back, for example, into Facebook, so I'm now sitting in a coffee house and I'm looking to check my Facebook contacts. So this is my doctor um, and someone sent me a link to a site. So I click on the link and what now happens, instead of going to the web security appliance, which is back in the office, which blocked before, it's now going to our ScanSafe servers, which are in the cloud. So rather than having to go back to the office, it's going direct to these servers which are publicly available. And you'll see, again, it's against company policy because this site contains spyware, as you'll see from the text. So ScanSafe is our in-the-cloud solution for when you're mobile. Um, if we look at the web searching again, if I go and search for Kate, what you'll now see are the green ticks down the side. So what's happening is, as I've gone to search for this, We've gone to the web, to the um, ScanSafe site and it's checked those sites and said yes they fall within company policy. And if they fall within company policy we get the green ticks so we can go ahead and access those. If however again I search for that program, Crackloader, you'll see we get some red crosses. So what's happened is that our company policy won't allow me to go into those and if I try and click on one, even though it has the thing, I've got again access denied so I can't then go and access those sites. So that's protecting my company laptop or my mobile device from this sort of malware coming down. A common trait is for people to try and disconnect from the, from the network. So at the moment I have a VPN tunnel encrypting the traffic between me and the office. And so I disconnect that. But still, if I refresh and try and go to that site, it's still protecting me. So in essence, that's what we're offering today with AnyConnect 3.0. Excellent. Thank you, David, for taking us through that. Uh, tell me how you've seen this directly benefit business. So this clearly has had a huge benefit um, with all of the volcanic ash disruption, as well as the snow. It's enabling people to work from anywhere, at any time, and make their businesses more profitable. Excellent. Thank you very much, David. Lovely to meet you. Thank you.